Alrighty. Back for yeah. more random side questing. As usual. There was a, come on, what? There, there was a main story. What was that? That's like, what else should we do if not side questing? Uh, med clinic, I think it's close to where we need to go. Referencing between a guide and my own memory. And some good old fashioned, have I gone over here yet? And you're here for the ride. Yep. Let's talk to Dr. Michelle. And also refill my medi gel. She's so nice. This is what I looked at the uh, desk behind her and I nearly thought it was a chest. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Because it was less li lit up in the distance. <laughs> Kind of amusing that even the subtitles just make it very clear it's a black man. <laughs> no shit. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of it. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? <laughs> hmm. Nah, that'd be nice. I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. It's a bad future when selflessness can make you lose your license, huh? I mean, that's the fucking present, Ran. I mean, yeah, but... Oh yeah, there she is. Hey, remember when we went to go kill Fist? The guy in the bar? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we picked up a thing from his laptop? Oh, yeah. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, fast. I should go see what's on his desk. <laughs> yep. I actually forgot to give it to her when we were here for the first time. Ah. Uh, that was one weirdly completed quest. Yeah. Just if we hmm. didn't have if we didn't have it, we just have to you know go back to it and pick it up. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, I guess all games have quests like that. Mm -hmm. Even Genshin does. Not that many though. <laughs> have had those experiences before. Yep. Hmm. What you Make got? Make sure to store your receipts. At least what I've eaten. Mean. You've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharaoh? Sure, it does. Area? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Boom. What you mean, Ferris and Novaria? They're on my to-do list. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. 
I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like huh. to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans uh, yes. first colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Uh huh. Well, to find out. Tell me what you've got. You know, in like Excellent. three more hours. I am sure you at will least. find something pleasing. I was about to say, you'd be awfully dangerous about how quickly we'll get to the main story. Ah, the Elcos Combine License. Very important, because apparently it comes back around, like, in the third game. Ah. I know that would sound useful. Section of large organic life forms in proximity of the planned landing site. Precautionary measure against Thresher Moss. Might come in handy. Yes, maybe. I mean, at least we will know if there is any treasure mouse. It's not like it will actually stop us from... Yeah, landing. Let's get rid of all the grade one stuff. Yeah. I mean, come on. Knowing that there's treasure mouse is even more of a reason to go land there and kill right. the shit out of it. I know, right? Ooh, keeper. Keeper! That reminds me, I had a map pulled up for that. Might as well get them oh, over here. Hi. Yeah, might as well. After all, there are side quests to be done. Keeper locations. Uh, this map is kind of shit, but it does the job more or less. Where are we now? We are in... Upper wards, I think. Let me check the layout. Yeah, we're in upper wards. So we just got that one. There's one over here. And then there's one... Ah! Fuck! There's one over here. I think we need to go over into this little alleyway anyway. To... Uh, That's probably where asshole blackmail... Oh yeah, this guy. Never Do you have a fan? The hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. you have a fan. <laughs> you are. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> I've never done this before. One. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Anything for a fan? Here. So Next. yes, very much a fan. <laughs> My wife is going to be. So That's impressed. actually what what the quest is called. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to. Buy you Anything for the fan? Thanks no, again. the fan. Like apparently uh, he shows. From, I don't know the details of the quest. Like I said, I've never done them before. Hmm. But uh, supposedly he shows up a couple more times. He shows up in Mass Effect 2, and then again in Mass Effect 3. And each time, that's the name of the quest. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Fair enough, I guess. You already asked hat I need to speak to. Hello there. Welcome oh to my. Man's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yeah, a shop. Let me see what you have. Business oh, first. You will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Squad iconic armors, eh? Oh, man. oh, so the stuff that they normally look like they're wearing. Uh, so it's what they look like themselves. Yeah, like Phoenix, Phoenix heavy armor. That's definitely Ashley. But is it better than Phoenix five? five grade five is like the best you can get, just about. Oh, so like I guess price this is tag, though. Yeah, but you know, so it, it's probably a good thing to get once Welcome we to can afford it. Shops. You want yeah. any good supplies? Yes. You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies, but I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. <laughs> a change, but the doctor, I don't. This is not right, human. Shut up, Morland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? 
Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. <laughs> this is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Bane? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Oh, Rex actually did pull out his gun. <laughs> that sound right then was him putting the shotgun away. Ah, so that's what it was. <laughs> I was like, Sounded similar to the medieval, so I got a bit confused. I was like, wait a second, who's got a gun? One mean Turian. Listen, he's gotta deal with this shit all day. Cut him some slack. I guess that's fair. Uh, oh, right. Uh. And I guess we technically don't know the full story. Wrong button! <coughs> okay. Ram, but not Russian. <laughs> oh, that's in bad taste, Ram. Look, it's literally the only meme I know about that game. <laughs> Besides, or pretty much the only thing I know at all about that game. Fair enough. Can you scan this guy? No, we haven't. So, when I was re looking for this map, I found out apparently if you're dumb enough to use grenades in this fight when you get Tally here, it's actually possible to blow that keeper out of the map. Ooh. <laughs> Can you imagine getting all the other keepers to fi only to find out you accidentally blew one of them clean out of the map? <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. That would have pissed me off so much. So it does amuse, it does amuse me that you can blow a keeper out of the map and no one drags on you for, you know, messing with the keepers. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think they would have realized it. Because the only witnesses to it would have been your crew. I mean, yeah. Okay. Lower wards. There is one down there. That we probably didn't get because I'm bad. As usual. Uh, what about that staircase? Oh no, there isn't one in lower wards except for over by C-Sec. Which is literally right around this corner. I don't know. Living in a place like this might be nice. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the wards are um definitely populated. That's a word for it. The Presidium is okay. Yeah, yeah. If there's something you absolutely get in this area, it's probably safety. I mean, I don't know. Krogan are allowed to wander around freely. Insert racist comment here. <laughs> Fair, but... It's not like this place is really gonna get invaded. True. Until probably Mass Effect 3, but uh, they does. <laughs> true, 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 true. Oh, probably need to go talk to Dr. Michelle. There's an exclamation mark on my map. That can only mean one thing. Commander, how do things... He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Bane. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Perhaps Captain Anderson will have some knowledge about this man. 
We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish well, I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. We mm, forgot that med uh, this can we might as well check, right? Yeah. Maybe cat so skeleton. That seems useful. Bonus health or regen, toxic just resistance and power cooldown. But that price though. Yeah. It's like Tier five is like the highest thing ever for for armor. Meanwhile, in armor upgrades. Well, yeah. I don't, I, I don't remember what the highest tier for anything is, but tier five uh -huh. is good. Yeah, fair enough. It is zero good. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good upgrade then. That okay. it might take us like the entire game to be able <laughs> to afford. Yeah, let's head for. Embassies, that's probably where Anderson is. Yeah. Like, and that was with a discount. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Ah, uh, you don't know that one. Uh, It'll make more sense in the next game. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, I mean, I still remember one of the memes that... I think it was from before Mass Effect 3 actually came out. Which was one of the they were saying the choices from Shepard would actually oh, yeah. have even more every, and more important. Every, every choice Shepard makes will, ha will, will will change the fate of the galaxy. Trying to and decide which socks to put on. Galaxy explodes. <laughs> I heard what happened yeah. to the Artemis Tau cluster. The council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This council isn't a game, ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. We already talked up with the Council about that, so shut the fuck up! They got the fuck over it. Yes, Com What do you know about Armiston Bane? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is <coughs> has been for quite some time. Are you sure about that? The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play. But it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. Hmm. Well, we need hey, to talk then. to Kohoku anyway. Then we might as well. <laughs> Any idea how to find him? Last I heard, he was up in the tower trying to get the Council to investigate Bane's death. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need me. How's the recording time, by the way? We're not even at 20 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take it easy, Ryan. I'm keeping an eye on it. I uh, just miss Ryan betting which time we have started. Get away from me, Avina. the tower! Oh, we're not afraid of heights. In games, no. <laughs> Wait, he's over here. Whoop. Are there any other keepers in the tower? Yes, there are three of them, in fact. Oh my. Let's talk to Kahoku first. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? Oh yeah, it was his men that we found ambushed by the Thresher Mall. Uh, you sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Mall. A Thresher Mall? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest, not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. 
Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? You know what I already found. the system we found Baines' <laughs> ship in. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Hmm. Hidden. Hmm. Alright. First keeper is actually right around the corner. Yeah, there he is. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's right, right there. Yeah. Scanned. Nice timing. And the other ones. We got one down here and one up here. Oh my. Oh my. Get to the one over here. Okay. Just keep climbing the stairs. Yep. Also, oh, hey. That woman. What's she want? <laughs> Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. <clears throat> this bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. Hmm. Checking your guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I I get feeling this this one is one that I might not want to do. Oh my. Here we go. Okay, no problem. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic. Control what system. what are we That's seeing here? About. I just need to hear and see them. Uh, probably a keeper. No, no, it's the inside of Rex's head. Oh. <laughs> if you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. About that. Hello again. Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. I'm not going to plant this bug. This isn't a good idea. Why not? The controllers need someone to tell their story, and the public deserves to know. It's all under control. Were you truly concerned, or just digging for ratings? No, of course not. I'm trying to protect public safety. I'm trying to help people. I have to rethink this story. Maybe if I sell this tough workers in a thankless job, they'd give me an interview. Here, thanks for investigating and for new information. I'm going to talk to my publisher. <laughs> yes, it was a very thorough investigation. Very thorough. Oh, hey, you look from Spain. Yeah, yeah. There's... Huh? Fuck, I dropped my glasses. Think of all the important decisions the Council has made right here. Trillions of lives hanging on their every word and deed. It's awe-inspiring. Hmm. I guess so. Where is... Where is he at? Behind Rex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Of course she is. <laughs> Hello, Keeper. You are scanned. And 
the other one's on the other side of the room. Where's my glasses? What have you really let they don't move around and change locations, huh? Sweet Jesus, don't even get me started. If they moved around, it would I be. I can't imagine if they had shifts. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. Transport the Hannah? The jellyfish. Ah. The polite ones. Yeah. Map. Right in there. Yep, there he is. I guess, I guess it's not so much that they need to line it up as much as they have trouble understanding things. Yeah, just a bit. So everything in electronics, right? <laughs> I want to dump everything into Spectre training. That bonus health, though. Yeah, but at the same time, you need to be able to crack through stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'll equip heavy armor. Oh my. The tank is even tankier. I know, right? Alright, so let's go, go to the elevator. And work our way around the Presidium. Getting all the little bug guys. Yay! How many have we gotten? Yeah, see, Citadel, the fan. <laughs> 11 out of 21, that's more than I've ever gotten. First time being a completionist. It's first time getting even remotely close to completionism. Uh, that's not the button I wanted to hit, but okay. I guess that works. So you've mm -hmm. spent your entire adult life just studying old Prothean junk? Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. We haven't even gotten to another end. A nice explosion every now and then keeps the mind sharp. <laughs> I guess we did. I guess we did run into one other protein ruin. Yeah, yeah. Like, I guess it technically did also explode. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. <laughs> okay, we want to get the one right in front of us. There is uh, one over there. Uh, we may or may not have already gotten. Nope, apparently not, because I can already see the pop up. Mm -hmm. Come here, buggy. You are credits. Buggy, 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 buggy. Okay then. Uh, there's one here. Back I am here. not that same fox. Eh, sanity's overrated anyway. Exactly. I mean, I'm consciously making sure that I don't devolve into making random noises while doing this, like I do uh, during my idle time. Eh, theaters. <laughs> you know, just random nips and other odd noises. Thank you. Mm, you do that anyway. Of course I do. I'm a fox. My cat is uh, trying to worm her way under the door to get out. Poor thing. She's a cat. She can't decide if she wants to be in or out. So she must suffer the weight of her decisions. Come here, you little bug. Buggy bug. Now, who's this guy I could talk to? Bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some <coughs> points of interest nearby? Because of no, course, I just want to think. Because of course the bartender would know. What's of going course, on he's here? the bartender. Well, you 
found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. And we already know all about those. Goodbye. It's like, so long, you have nothing near us. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that one? <coughs> the sheer size of this place is overwhelming. Yeah, that is a... Uh, Rex's comment. Just remember that one, okay? Okay, then. Like, and the other... That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> seriously. Oh! Keeper. That way. Other way! Keeper! Hello, welcome. Have I scanned you? Nope. I've scanned you. Annoyed. I need a fucking break. Yeah, we can probably just quickly finish this quest and then... Yeah, finish so roaming yeah. the citadel looking for the bugs. Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure we already have the one over here, but I'm gonna make sure. I mean, I could keep doing this all day. But that's because I actually really like Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bug, bug, bug! Gotcha. I guess you haven't scanned him. Yeah, guess not. Okay. Across the bridge, there is the one by the consort chambers. And the one over here. I'm pretty sure we've gotten both of those, actually. But we'll find out. Yeah. I do wish you would sprint outside of combat. I am sprinting. You are jogging. I wish you could sprint outside of combat. <laughs> okay, this is me pressing shift. I know, I know. That, that's <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, the second and third game kind of improve it. Mostly by compressing the areas you need to wander around. Yeah, that's cool, I think. Like, this is a really pretty place, don't get me wrong. But uh, trying to run across it back and forth a dozen times does get tedious. Yeah. It doesn't help now that we have experience with a lot of feather designed open world games. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say Mass Effect hasn't aged well, but I'm not going to say it's aged poorly. Oh, scan. Yeah, that was not so tough, like, it's good. Things that age well and things that haven't. And it can't really be described with, with either or as a whole. Like, its ability to tell a story has aged quite well. Yeah, better than, better than its latest game, that's for sure. Andromeda apparently on its own, oh, we've got that one, on its own is apparently alright. Just the gameplay and certain other aspects of it really don't stack up. Oh. Yeah, we don't really know, will we? Um, we might add Andromeda to the list after three. Maybe. After I can, if I can, you know, psych myself up to actually stomach it. <laughs> um, I mean, there might be most to every day gameplay. There are some mods. Nothing groundbreaking, though. Not surprising. It's a bit difficult to make mods for a game you're not interested in after all. Seriously. Keeper! Yay! How many more left? Uh, I thought I saw something over here. That's disappointing. Huh. Oh, there is a, there is something over here, but it's for a different quest. It, the map I have marks a bunch of stuff. Uh. Scan the keepers. We're at 17 out of 21, so we have four more Yay. to go. And we've gotten all of the ones here. There is two in Citadel Security, one in the Docking Bay. I'm missing one. And there's one. Oh, and there's oh, one oh. over in uh, Flux and Ward's Access, which I can access through here, actually. 
Good. So, go over there, across the fucking Presidium, of course. Because, of course. And then hit a fast travel point, if such a thing exists. Fast travel is usually a good idea And head to, to the CSEC Academy. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Who the fuck is Helena Blake? Oh. oh, she has words for me. Hello, Spectre. I have a business. Side quests. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. It's not an attempt if you succeed. You are the human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Hmm. Guide. Hmm. I wonder how much it will bother you when I just start playing New Vegas without any guides. Uh, then you're not gonna be playing it with me. What crime did these men? Why? Because I am They're a guide. Sand dealers who make victims of their customers. I mean, Those who can no longer fair. be sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. See, that's clearly the Paragon option, but there's. Nothing that says don't do it, so. And I mean, fuck. I'm not a fan of Batarians in general. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And hey, if she double crosses me, I have a gun. <gasps> I got renegade points. I mean, you could have just said I'll do it. Nah. No. Mm, it was the neutral option. But, oh well. What have I walked up on? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. <laughs> Man, he is, uh, livid. That's the word for it. Gene therapy could hurt the baby. One in three hundred at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in three hundred, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a one in fifty chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. 
damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Well then. Yeah, that's how they equal the one. <laughs> Just gonna keep marching. Yep. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. What you gotta say, big guy? I was never a fan of this statue. The Krogan monument just seems more impressive. <coughs> well, of course it would. This statue shows how well the Krogan's blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. I didn't know. Okay. There's the little bugger. No, that's no, that's the um. We already got that one. Oh, okay. That's why I said there's another little, little bugger. We've already got that one. That one too. Yeah, we we've gone full circle. Now we're going to get the last ones. All oh, right. Mm, is this the right exit point? Seems like it. Might end up being a bit of a long episode, but. Oh well. Ah oh, well. I'm sure people will just skip ahead to when we got all the box anyway, so <laughs> quite possibly. Like annoying people. I mean half the fun is just listening to the idle chatter along the way anyway. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize there was dialogue when I I forget this game's old. So if I alt tab to check my map or change pages, it will cut the dialogue and sound. Yep. Because it's bad. Mostly just the sound, but yeah. Oh god, somebody's talking to me. <laughs> hey, been a long what do you time. Want? I'm sorry. Do uh. we know each other? I guess with so many selections, it's a bit difficult to use jump up to having all the blocks. We served on oh. carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short of money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? Hmm. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. And that hits a little close to home when it comes to the way veterans are treated. Yeah. That is one like, thing I like about games like this. Like, it's randomly working on the stream, and, so, and suddenly you have deep thoughts about stuff. Yeah. Like, they put everything in. The diminished numbers of Part of why I like Genshin so much as I'm well. I'm surprised that you are willing to fight and kill them. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former <coughs> is 
is a favor to the universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in the wards. We need to head to C-Sec. That pretty much summarizes Krogan's entire philosophy. <laughs> Oh, that was actually funny. Okay, two in here, one in the docks, and that will be all the keepers. Mm -hmm. Now you saw a very good example of how they need to compact things a bit. Extremely long hallway for literally no reason. Yep. Your biotics are pretty powerful. All Asari that strong? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. All that power and some Asari don't use it? You could have conquered the galaxy if you wanted to. Let that sink in. Well, some people don't want to. Yeah, but let that sink in. Basically, all Asari are biotics. Yep. And it says something when a Krogan says, you could have just conquered all of us. Yeah. <laughs> also, rip anyone who tries to invade. Yep. Another quest you can. Yeah, but he's talking about Chorban, which is the same guy we're doing this for. Oh. So, on the, since I know nothing about it, on the off chance that one shuts the other off somehow, I'm gonna finish doing this. Uh, guys. <coughs> no! What do you. What even is this? What what even is this? Is this like a training simulation room? Maybe. I think so, with all of these uh gear lockers. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Tracking terminal, tracking terminal, tracking terminal. LOR <laughs> You find it rather unlikely that they just forgot to texture an entire room, so <laughs> This is Bioware, they are a little better than that, yeah. Exactly. When they're not given a project named Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay, when they're not told like halfway to use an entirely different engine and have to make do while learning it very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the one over here. Already scanned you. Wait, what? 19 out of 21. Well, shite. That means, aha, flux. I can get to that right next to where Emily the Long was standing. I know how to get to that. Cool. <sighs> Good thing there's a fast transit system here. Yep. Actually, I probably should have hit uh, med clinic, but. Close enough. Could you imagine? Yeah, yeah. How frustrating this would be, like you said, if these guys moved. Right. I would probably. I'm pretty sure someone would go actually ballistic. Yeah, spe especially since you can't really tell them from each other. And yeah. they might take each other's positions. Uh. Yeah, like, I would probably hurt somebody. But you also know that there would be someone with the time and patience to chart every single one's movement time lines. Yeah. 
Oh my. My fist is dead. Shut up. It's out of my hands, I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to cower. No, no, no. I'll see if I can talk some sense. Be careful. You know how stubborn your sister can be. The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Dora. I have a serious question. How does this guy mm. reach to upper shelves? Um, probably with help. <laughs> Maybe the guy over there. Yeah, I mean, like, he's not the only one behind the ladder list. Doran. What can I do for you? Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. Mm. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Must be a damn short uh, stove. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Fist is there. She stays there just to spite me. Fist is dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know who her contact CSEC is? No, it's all very secret. <laughs> Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? Not anymore! It's just fucking closed! <laughs> well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Which means it's gonna be reopening for like 30 minutes when, when we walk through. <laughs> There's a little bastard. Get me here, yeah, there's still some things that... Could use refining in the storytelling, but overall, not touching that, not touching that. What do those concepts do? They're, oh, they're, they're casino eight. games. But the oh. one in the back that was labeled suspicious sends you on a timed um, fetch quest to, to like the three different corners of the Citadel. Yeah. And I do not have time for that shit. Yeah, that's a big nope. Wards. C-Sec, please. We are one elevator yeah. right away from being done with this long quest. Finally. There's one more bug. Yep. Um. Being in the city must feel good after digging through rocks at that Prothean ruin. No, cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort. I actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites. I'm surprised. I've never met an Asari who didn't prefer clean clothes and a hot bath. Hmm. Hmm. Keeper, keeper! In going from the Krogan, that's probably a compliment. <laughs> a private docking bay. Wonder how much the Alliance had to shell out for this. Hmm. Gosh, Good point. Come here. Come here. Yay! It only took pretty much the entirety of a 55-minute uh, clip. Yeah, you know, it does. Hey, there's 31. Yeet!